Hello everyone, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Harry Wolf, and you're watching The Joy of Coding. Today, I'm going to be delving back into the world of TypeScript and answering one of the most asked questions in my last video. What should I be using? Interfaces or types? Why do they both exist? And why do they taunt me? Because they seem to do the same thing. It's a really good question, and I'm glad you asked it. The short answer, and the one that lets you stop watching this video and get right back to coding, is it doesn't matter, by and large. There's preferences that you can have for each one, and there are some actual uh, concrete differences in their behavior, but as TypeScript has matured over the years, the feature sets of both a interface and a type have gotten more and more similar. There's still differences and still uh, constraints about which ones can do, but by and large, they are more the same than ever today. If you're asking what do I use, I personally prefer interfaces when possible. Uh, interfaces are geared towards defining the shape of objects or classes. They can also define functions, but it's also a little bit awkward. I don't like using interfaces for functions, but most of the code I write are objects and interfaces are deliberately and distinctly built to be used with objects. And that being the case, I prefer interfaces whenever possible. When I'm not dealing with objects, if I want to type a function, if I want to make a type alias, then I use type. That's the short answer to what I use. So if you just had that question, then there's your answer. But if you are curious about the actual distinct uh, specific differences in what an interface and a type can do, then I'm gonna keep talking in this video. So as I mentioned, interfaces are built to define shapes of objects. So you can have in here an interface called person, which has a name, which is a string and hungry, which is a Boolean. These are my go-to example properties. With that, you can then make uh, a person object and say name Harry. And hungry is actually false because I just had lunch and it was delicious. Uh, this is now being properly type checked. If I mistype a key like this, I'm gonna get an error message from TypeScript saying that I've tried to put the type name H2 hungry is not assignable to type person. The object literal may only specify known properties, but this property, H2 hungry, does not exist in type person. And then, because TypeScript is clever, it knows what to suggest. So, this is TypeScript letting you type objects. Of course, you can also do um, Harry implements person to have it implement classes as well. This is yelling because it's missing the properties that it said that I said that it should have. So name and hungry boolean that are not initialized, but let's ignore that for now. And then of course, if I wanted to, you can also implement functions with interfaces. So you can do interface greeting. And this is why I don't like it because I find it awkward where you just have an anonymous function here. So you can have name is a string and that returns a string to which I can do const uh, my greeting is greeting. And then this is a function that takes in a name and returns hello, just like that. And this properly adheres to that contract. If I were to say that this takes a Boolean, it would yell at me because that is not assignable to type greeting. That's interfaces defining objects, classes, and functions. Another feature of interfaces is that you can extend interfaces. So I could put in here interface uh, Harry extends person. Now I'm gonna put in a property called YouTuber because guess where you're watching this video. And then here I can actually make this Harry. And of course it's going to yell because I'm missing the property YouTuber. And this is a unique feature 
of interfaces that you can extend interfaces. So that's one thing. Another unique feature of interfaces is a thing called declaration merging, wherein if let's say this, so what declaration merging lets you do is write one interface declaration here, then I can actually make another same declaration here, interface person, let's change this back to the person. And here you're gonna see the same error that we had before when I extended because the property YouTuber is missing in the type name hungry and it's not on the type person. What TypeScript does is it merges these two interfaces. Is that good? Is that bad? I don't know, but it's what you can do with an interface. And that's it in terms of unique features of interfaces. Those three things, they define, they're geared towards object classes and functions. They have, they can be extended and you can do declaration merging. Uh, there used to be more differences, more unique features of interfaces, but nowadays that's kind of the most, if there are other ones, they're probably the edge advanced features, but for your most common use cases, that's it. So then let's move on to what a type is. A type, or as it's more fully called, a type alias, lets you alias a type for anything. So you can actually do uh, type uh, hungry is a Boolean. Oops, is a Boolean. And this is making a type alias such that hungry is alias to a Boolean. You can also type alias um, functions. So you can do this is name string, which returns a string. So you can type alias a function. And it's a way for you to pretty much save having to retype type declarations that you might have to do in line and reuse them elsewhere. And the thing that's different about types is like, let's say I had this type hungry and I said, uh, Harry is hungry and I said true. This is all good. But if I were to change this to a string, what's a little bit disappointing with type aliases and because they're just aliases, when I hover over here, the error message I get is that the string true is not assignable to type boolean. It's not saying type hungry, it's saying type boolean because I'm just aliasing it there. There is a feature in type languages called an opaque type, which would actually let this error message say not assignable to type hungry, but TypeScript doesn't have opaque types. They're trying, it's a feature request, one that they know people want, one they want to add, I believe, but not currently there. So just type aliases. And of course, you can also type alias objects if you want to. So you can do person, same example as before, name string hungry boolean. And we can have uh, this be the type person. And this is what I was talking about when I was saying that types and interfaces have gotten more alike than ever in recent years. So if I have in here just the name property, but not the hungry property, the error message here is saying type property hungry is missing in type name string. And it's saying it's missing in type name string because that's what's over here. This is the type that the value has, but hungry is required in type person. In earlier versions of TypeScript, I think they fixed this in TypeScript 2.1. So it's been a while. This in type person would actually just be the shape, the actual alias object itself. Fortunately for us, they've now improved that to actually put the name right here, which means tracing these errors becomes a whole lot more pleasant. And the other feature of types, but also the thing that they don't have from interfaces is that types can't extend other types because a type is kind of a fixed shape. So instead, if you want to merge two types, you can use unions or what's called an intersection. So with an intersection, let's say you wanted to have this have the YouTuber property. I can say this also has YouTuber boolean. So here, if I add this to hungry false, this is now going to yell at me and give me actually a more hard to understand error, but essentially property YouTuber is missing in type name string hundred but required in type here. Uh, and then what person, what types also have that's really nice is unions, which you don't have with interfaces such that I can say that a person is either 
a person or YouTuber. So I could do type YouTuber equals, let's just yank this over here like that. And then I can have, you know, type Harry is either a person or a YouTuber such that either one of those is true. So here we're not getting an error anymore because this person, sorry, Harry, there we go. Because Harry can be either a person or a YouTuber, which is very handy to do. So here I'm just a person. If I were to add the uh, YouTuber flag here, which I am, true. Uh, well, it's merging them together, but it also means that I can do this and it still will be happy as well. So that's another feature of types that interfaces don't ha have is unions. And really types are just handy for when just wanting to type things that you don't, that you want to reuse elsewhere. So here I can do uh, greeting is greeting equals name uh, and then returning hello. And this is a course being typed and I find this to be a whole lot easier to write than the interface version. And that's it for types. Those are the unique features of types that interfaces do not have. They are aliases for types that you might have to rewrite many other times yourself. Um, they are combined with unions or intersections. And they're sometimes easier to use than interfaces. That's the unique features. On the TypeScript documentation page, it does suggest to you to use interfaces because they say, as they write on the page, an ideal property of software is being open to extension. And as such, you should always use an interface over a type alias if possible. Uh, that is especially true if you're writing a library that you're exporting functions and type information from. It's better to export interfaces than types because interfaces can then be extended and changed to fit the needs of the application that's using your code. Types are static by and large. They're just an alias to a shape and you can make new types by doing unions and intersections, but you can't change the type itself. So ultimately, my recommendation to you is if you're working with objects or classes, use an interface. And that's gonna be a lot of your code already. So that's gonna cover so much of your use cases. If you're not using objects or classes, then use a type. Also because you kind of have to. I wouldn't recommend using interfaces for functions. They're awkward. Uh, there are some advanced features of interfaces for typing constructor functions and static methods, but that's not enough time for this video. But my overall advice to you is to be consistent with yourself and your team. Decide if you're okay with that decision to use interfaces for objects, types for everything else, and then just be consistent in your code base. Because ultimately you're gonna get the same type safety no matter which one you choose, and you'll be better off just having used at least one of them. Hopefully that answers the question, which one to get, interfaces or types. Uh, I'll be curious to hear your rationale for which ones you prefer. Um, this has now been my decision de developed over, I guess, a year or two's time of playing with TypeScript. So i um, always happy to hear alternative points of view. That is this week's video. Hopefully you enjoyed, and I'll look forward to seeing your thoughts in the comments below. If you're not a subscriber, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.